Hi, I'm Carolyn. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a little quick video on my first impressions of the earth signs. So there are three earth signs. In order, it's Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. But I'm going to start with Virgo because today is September 9th. Thus, it's Virgo season. And I love Virgo, so they're going to go first today. When I know someone's a Virgo, I get a little on edge, to be honest, because I, I know that I need to put my best foot forward at all times. It can be a little stressful, but I also get along really well with Virgos. Like, I almost stress myself out more than necessary. It could be because my Mars and Venus are in Virgo, but I always have this urge to impress them because... They are so smart and so intelligent and so analytical and observant that I really do value their opinion. You know, even the stupid Virgos are still pretty smart, if you know what I mean. And most of them are actually extremely intelligent. People have mentioned in my uh, Sagittarius video, actually, it was a very insightful comment that someone left. They took issue to the fact that I said Sagittarius can accomplish the most. They said Virgos actually do. Virgos are, end up being the most wealthy, which that's kind of an earth sign trait, is to accumulate wealth and to establish a secure lifestyle. Not just secure though, but also comfortable, luxurious, you could say. I guess that kind of leads me into Taurus. Taurus is an earth sign. They're the second sign. They're ruled by Venus, so they really have a taste for the finer things in life. They're really kind of happy-go-lucky people. They like what they like. I've said that before. They are open to new experiences, though, especially if it's something to do with the Earth. They love the Earth. Most of them that I've met, at least, are very focused on the planet. <laughs> Some of them are vegetarians, actually, that I know one of my best friends is. She's a Cancer Rising, but that's besides the fact. <laughs> what else about Taurus? I kind of just wiggled my way in there. I guess that's because I'm still feeling the Pisces moon energy. <laughs> There's not really any transition between the signs. This is just my earth signs impression, I guess. So Taurus, they're very touchy-feely and that's why they love soft blankets, cashmere. Get a Taurus a super nice cashmere sweater for Christmas. They'll love you. <laughs> Actually, it's funny because that's what I got my Virgo dad, but it seems like a Taurus-y thing. <laughs> but he's an Earth sign too, so. And he's actually got a stellium in Virgo, in case you're wondering. Now, I haven't forgot about you Capricorns. Capricorn is the 10th sign. They rule the Midheaven, the MC, which is basically the top of an astrological chart which represents the reputation, the legacy, the profession, you could say, I guess. It's kind of your professional legacy. It can take other forms, but that is really the Capricorn. Capricorns are really all about business and building their empire, slowly but surely, making the, the perfect step to get where they're going. But my first impression of Capricorn would not be that. <laughs> See, this is hard because I guess this video is about if I meet you and I know that you're a certain sign, or if you're a client of mine and I have your driver's license and know your date of birth, I will automatically have this impression of you, I guess you could say. <laughs> but um, back to Cap. So in real life, Capricorns are very reserved. They don't talk a lot. It's kind of hard to carry on a conversation with them if, you know, you're doing business with them. They're almost too focused on the practical transactional nature of everything, but they apply it to their relationships too. So, but it's not how they actually feel. That's just their style. It's almost like they'll say as few words as they can. Reserved, controlled, and they're also kind of judgmental. So are Virgos. Taurus is the only earth sign that's actually not judgmental. They are judgmental if 
you try to tell them to do something that they don't want to do or that they're not open to doing, then they'll judge you or say they are one side of the political aisle. Then they will judge the other side of the political aisle and basically generalize and everything. They don't really admit that to that's what they're doing, but they are the fixed of the earth signs. So they make opinions and those opinions are long lasting. It takes a force of nature in order to change a Taurus's opinion. They are not the type of person to shut down conversation and debate. In fact, I've, I've found that Tauruses end up being some of my most favorite conversationalists, which is different than what I've seen other people, um, other people's view of Taurus conversation is that it's very slow. And it is sometimes if you don't know them that well. Like I have a lot of Taurus clients and they are very slow to talk. I always have to make sure that I don't go when I'm on the phone. It's hard to um, evaluate if they heard me or if they're just evaluate if they're trying to craft a, the perfect response or if I need to repeat myself. So I'll often end up talking over Tauruses and right as I start, that's when they actually start their sentence. Um, but if you actually know Tauruses very well and say you have a good friendship with them, they are great conversationalists. They love conversation and debate and intellect. Like they love to have philosophical discussions as far as I've known them, most at least, not all. Taurus will only really shut you down if they in their head have deemed you to be full of bullshit. If they've already deemed you to be full of bullshit, then it's, there's really no point. Which is fine because they tend to be smart people. The earth signs do tend to be smart. It's not just Virgo, it's not just Capricorn. Tauruses are very smart too. So Virgo is a mutable sign, is the mutable earth sign. So they are, they easily adapt. They're flexible. They are flexible where Taurus isn't, I guess you could say, but they're also more judgmental in their head. Where Taurus will tell you what they think, a Virgo will criticize you in their head and basically just move on, which is fine. And this, these are all just my first impressions, my opinions. And I kind of am having fun with this, so I hope you like it. Now, I'm going to spend a little bit of time on Cap. Capricorns are actually really good friends. So Capricorn is the cardinal earth sign, which means they are the leaders of the earth signs. They are the doers, not the followers, and not the maintainers. They're the starters. But the funny thing with them is that they are also the slowest. Everything takes them longer than it takes the average Joe. I mean, they're ruled by Saturn and Saturn is about time and basically slows down that time. At least it feels like it's going by so slow. It really takes years to build up to where the goal is. But once they get there, it, it's built on such a firm foundation that even if they tumble, they're still going to be okay because they've built up that foundation. They are very traditional. Even the non-traditional ones, they are, they hold a lot of respect for what they respect. They carry out the long-term vision in such a way that only a Capricorn has patience for. This video was all over the place and I recognize that. Um, thank you for watching. I know it's been a while since I uploaded my last video. I've been having quite the summer. My boss died suddenly on August 6th, so that was really depressing for me. And I also just moved to my new house. So I don't have my blacks background up yet. I'm still trying to find the perfect place to record, but I thought that I would mix it up a bit just for this because I really missed making videos and I have a lot of new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment and feel free to, you know, interact with me, add me on Facebook. Thank you again. I'm Carolyn and I'll see you next time for whatever that video will be.